Rescue Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by Remington Park Racing Casino, the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association, and by the American Quarter Horse Association. A who's who of some of the top older horses in the country went postward over the weekend. B.H. Lisa's boy in California, A.J.'s High and Sam Crow in Oklahoma, and some good distance runners in Texas. We'll catch you up on this edition of the Weekend Wrap-Up. Hi, I'm Jim Byers. Let's start at Sam Houston Race Park in Northwest Houston, where Stoley's Pro was installed as the 4-5 to five favorite in the $25,000 Governor's Cup Marathon at 870 yards on Saturday. Second choice, Isa Shoefly Dandy was off well behind the field, and Stoley's Pro had this one to himself. And they run to the top of the stretch. Stoley's Pro is blazing the trail, takes him off the turn, two to the good. Corona La Jolla is in pursuit back third, the field cricket with 200 yards to go. Stoley's Pro shows the way, Corona La Jolla chasing, but 70 yards remain and Stoley's Pro cruising to victory in the Governor's Cup Marathon. Just like he did in the Sam Houston Distance Challenge last month, Stoley's Pro makes off at the Governor's Cup Marathon in romping fashion under Francisco Calderon. A full brother to 2008 AQHA World Champion Stoley's winner, Stoley's Pro is a Texas bred son of Stoley and the runaway winner mayor Viva Jean, bred and owned by Jerry Windham just like his big brother. Leon Bard, the winning trainer, as Stoley's Pro takes his fourth straight race at this distance dating to last fall. Corona La Jolla and the field cricket round out the top three. The winner's time, 45.676 seconds. B.H. Lisa's boy just keeps getting better. The Idaho bred had moderate success as a two-year-old in the Pacific Northwest, then set a track record at Emerald Downs at three. Has become a fixture in the Bank of America Challenge Championship. And now, the son of Mighty Invictus and the mayor, Apollo Snowbound, is at the top of the heap at Los Alamitos. On Sunday, the five-year-old, bred and owned by Bill Hober, lugged out but still handily made off with the grade three Coia Bar handicap at 350 yards under Cesar de Alba. Now trained by John Cooper, B.H. Lisa's boy also accounted for the grade one Los Alamitos Winter Championship in February. There's more to come on the show including Oklahoma breads in the Grade 1 Sooner State Stakes at Remington Park. The 2017 Remington Park Quarter Horse season continues through June 3rd. The Million Dollar Heritage Place Futurity and Grade 1 Remington Park Championship headline the richest card on the season's final day. You're not just my horse. You're my family. I may hold the reins, that you hold my heart. A year ago, AJ's High and Sam Crow ran 1-2 in the Grade 1 Sooner State Stakes for Oklahoma Breds at Remington Park. They met again on Saturday for the first time since that race in the 2017 renewal of the Sooner State, which offers a $100,000 purse at 400 yards. Slight favorite, A.J.'s High, is making his first outing since a close fourth in the Champion of Champions at Los Alamitos in December. Regular rider Stormy Smith is up for trainer Charlie Hunt. A.J.'s High has made almost $300,000 of his $717,000 bankroll at Remington. The second choice by only $8 in the win pool is Sam Crow, a winner over state breads in the Mr. Jet Moore last time out. A win here would put him over the million mark in career earnings. Valiant Rogue ran second to Sam Crow in the Mr. Jet Moore after nosing him out in the Mighty Deck 3 stakes the time before. He's 5-1. to one. On the outside is VF Red Surprise, an Oklahoma Derby finalist last year, but an otherwise newcomer to the local stakes scene. They're off on the Sooner State Stakes. Trouble beginning to stumble there for AJ's high out sharply. Regard with respect. Between runners now coming on. Valiant Rogue to the far outside. Big effort by VF Red Surprise. Now coming back from the rail. Here is AJ's High and his partner Sam Crow. They're going for the front together from the inside. BF Red Surprise trying to pull the upset inside close with Sam Crow and AJ's High. Good photo coming here. A lot to talk about here. First, the winner, BF Red Surprise. Just that, a 22 to 1 outsider holds off Sam Crow and AJ's High. Bred by Safari Racing, 
VF Red Surprise as a four-year-old daughter of First Prize Stanley and the roles of Romance Mayor Red Temptress. Now a stakes winner here for owner Quadra Ladrieros Limited. Stuart Steele, the trainer, and James Flores is the winning jockey. She left great, she broke really sharp, and uh, she was running real good, so I figured, I figured I'd just stay on top of her and stay out of her way, and I could see the horses on the inside coming to me, and I rolled my stick over and asked for a little more, and she, she responded and held on for the win. You beat two of the nicest over horses in the country right now. How's yeah, that feel? Yeah, to beat to beat those to beat those kind of horses, you know, it's it's pretty impressive, you know, for a horse to run a big race like that because you know those horses, you know, they're no joke. You know, they've made over half a million dollars, and you know they they come from great barns, and you know to win a race like that in that that class of field, it's a it's a good feeling. Sam Crow finishes ahead back of the winner after rallying from about a length and a half behind early with AJ's high recovering from a bad stumble at the start to be another head back in third. The time, 19.776 seconds. We'll have video of the 110-yard Texas Twister Stakes and more right after this. Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association encourages the breeding and ownership of Oklahoma bred horses, promotes and protects racing opportunities in the state, and represents our members' interest at the state capitol. Learn more at oqhra.com. The 2017 Remington Park Quarter Horse season continues through June 3rd. The Million Dollar Heritage Place Futurity and Grade 1 Remington Park Championship headline the richest card on the season's final day. Hundred ten yards. Here we go. And runners away the Texas Twister. Catharsis off fast. Surviving legend is there. Red Corona Warrior coming on middle of the track. Wild Tycoon. Raceview Network's weekend wrap up is sponsored by Remington Park Racing Casino, the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association and by the American Quarter Horse Association. Coming up next week is a bunch of major races. We'll have the Grade 2 Houston Classic at Sam Houston, the Grade 3 Robert Adair Kindergarten Futurity from Los Alamitos, plus three graded regional qualifiers in the BOA Racing Challenge Series from Remington. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim Byers. Have a good week. We'll see you next time on Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up.